This is the brand new Zwift Hub 1. It might look like an ordinary smart trainer, but it's a little bit different. This could revolutionise indoor training. Let me tell you all about it. You're going to want to stick around for this one. So it was around a year ago that Zwift launched their very first indoor trainer, the Zwift Hub. They have now launched a new version of that original trainer with a totally different concept. Now, most indoor trainers that you and I are used to seeing have a cassette on the back, but this one doesn't. This has the Zwift Cog. This is the Zwift Cog, and it replaces the standard cassette with one single cog. Now, this is a super exciting new feature that means that any bike from 8 to 12 speed can fit on this trainer without any faff or any adjustment at all. So in reality, you'll never have to swap or change anything on this trainer. You can put your road bike, your gravel bike, your mountain bike, your commuting bike, any bike you want on here. And it's especially good if you say, share a trainer with someone. Say you have a 10 speed bike and the other person has an 11 speed, you'll both be able to use this trainer without a faff. But we are gonna test that theory a little bit later on in the video to see how many different bikes we can put on this trainer. But you have to stay tuned for that. Now you might be looking at this trainer and thinking you're gonna be stuck in one gear for the whole time you're on it. Well, that is wrong. There's actually 24 virtual gears inside here. And another thought that I had when I first saw this is, well, everybody has different chain rings and drive trains on the front. So how is it gonna know what well, the gear's gonna be different? Well, after around three seconds of pedaling, once you warm it up, it automatically auto calibrates and figures out through some magic wizardry what gears you have on your bike and calibrates to that. And you might be thinking, how are you meant to shift gears or change gears? Because obviously if you try to change with the gears on your bike, that's probably not gonna end well with this on there. But this is where the Zwift click comes in handy. So the Zwift Click is gonna act as your shifters would in the normal world. It's got a very simple plus and minus and it has 24 gears to go through. And this little gadget is obviously very easily just popped on your bike and you can pop it anywhere you want. I've obviously got it on my top, so you can put it in drops, you could literally put it anywhere. You could put it in your back pocket if you wanted to and it would still, still work. But if you do have Zwift Play, you might have noticed, or might not have noticed, a secret button that hasn't really done much up until now. So this little grey button here next to the orange one is now programmed to shift your gears using the Zwift Hub 1. And if you are ever confused as what gear you're in from 1 to 24, that's all you need to do is look up at your Zwift avatar and it'll come up on the left there and tell you what gear you're in. Now the Zwift Hub 1 has been tried and tested with over 500 different makes and models of bike. But your bike does have to have a rear derailleur for tension. And if you have Kampag Ekar 13, it won't work on the bike. And if you have a Brompton or a kid's bike with really small wheels, it's not gonna fit on here either. Now obviously my lovely super bike fits on here very nicely. But here at GCN Megabase, we've got all sorts of different bikes. So let's see what we can find and what fits on this trainer. Right, we've got our setup and we have found a load of wacky bikes. We've got commuter bikes, we've got retro bikes, we've got speedy time trial machines. Let's see if they fit. First up, we have Harriet. You might recognize her from the channel and she's on her Ridgeback commuting machine. Fits on like a dream and this is actually Harriet's first ever time on Zwift. And look at that smile on her face. And what have we got up next? Well, this looks like a Connor Dunn special. A retro bike with a basket for snacks on the front. And Connor's even put the Zwift click on the down tube to give that extra retro feel. Oh, the trusty old Eurobike. It's seen better days by now, but it still fits and you can Zwift on it. 
Next up, another commuter special. Straight in from the ride home from work and straight on to Zwift for a little bit of racing. I like it. On next, we have Triathlete Mark on a lean, mean, speedy machine of a TT bike, even with a click on the TT bars for those extra aero gains. It looks quick even standing still. Ooh, look at this bouncy boy. A mountain bike on a trainer is a little bit like fish out of water, but you know what? It works perfectly. Great for those mountain bikers who actually want to do a little bit of pedaling. So there you have it. We fitted a fair few different bikes onto the Zwift Hub One. And it's fair to say, I'm quite impressed with it. We fitted, I mean, you saw the amount of different bikes and they all fitted perfectly. I think this is really gonna transform indoor riding and make things a lot easier. But if you want to find out more about the Zwift Hub, you can head over to the Zwift website and you can get these trainers for $599, €599 Euros, or £549. And that does include a Zwift membership for a year. And if you already have a Zwift Hub, you can actually buy the Zwift Cog as an attachment over on the website as well. So go check that out if you fancy it. But for now, I think I might just leave him riding there all day. But let me know what you thought of the Zwift Hub one in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one.